There, look at the donkey. She's got it. Set the hook. Welcome. This is Sig with Fish Out Loud. Want to add bilge pump to your current boat? That's what I did. I'll tell you why I did this. Okay, first of all, I bought this great boat um, for a very cost-effective price. Um, a friend of mine had owned it, and when I got it, it only had 260 hours on it, and most of that time was just idling around anyway. So um, I made a few changes to this boat. Because I do live here on the Gulf, I wanted to make it into a saltwater boat, so I got one, a new boat trailer. Um, salt water worthy. I got two, a new trolling motor. Um, not only was it a 12 volt, but it was also not salt water worthy. So I went from a 12 volt to a 24 volt um, trolling motor. And I'm gonna show you how I did that at a later time. But now I wanna talk about the bilge. It comes with a bilge already. And, but I wanted something a little bit more. Instead of the bilge being a um, low bilge pump, um, only so much water coming out per hour, I wanted, and it has a switch, it's a manual, it's not automatic, I wanted to change it up. So I put an automatic 1,100 gallons per hour bilge pump on that. Now, why did I do that? For obvious reasons, I live on the Gulf. I never know when I'm gonna take a great wave. Um, can a little boat like this go out in the Gulf? Absolutely. Um, Navarre is known for kayak capital of the world. So the kayakers go out there, but there are times when you might take a wave unforeseen. I wanted to be ready. So here's what I did. I'm gonna go inside here in a second and show you in detail how I did it, but I just wanna point out here, I've got an electrical box here, all right, with the switch that goes to the automatic bilge pump. I have my on-off switch was already with my boat, and if you don't have one for your boat, I strongly recommend it. This on-off switch helps prevent any loss of power from my cranking battery that not only goes to crank up my engine but it goes to my electronics and it goes to the other switches okay so on off switch and then i have the 60 amp which was recommended that i get and put in for my 24 volt um, trolling motor and then also i as you can see i'm handing a cord cord here and you'll see my pro sport um, this is my um, charger for my trolling motor battery so by just turning on the switch I hear the bilge pump ready to go. And that will sound off every so often. Uh, I forget how many, if it's 60 seconds or 90 seconds, but it just goes through that, letting me know that that thing is ready to pump water out in case I do take a roller or something like that. So let's go inside and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it from the beginning to the end with, by adding a bilge pump. Okay, we've worked our way back into the house here and here are some images of how the bilge pump is installed into my watercraft, which is, happens to be a Tracker 175, which I bought off a good friend of mine. And you'll see there's the switch. Um, I have the little electrical box. And when I say little, it's, it's an undersized electrical box than the other ones that you buy that are standard size. I also have the on-off switch, which that goes to all my cranking battery um, accessories and then I have the waterproof a 60 amp which is required for the trolling motor that I was I got and installed it's a 24 volt uh, I'm gonna be adding everything below here of what I purchased and where I got it and then if you want to install something uh, bilge pump, especially an automatic one, if you don't have it already, it's probably a good wise idea because you just never know. I don't care what body of water you're on. Uh, so here's a, a look right there. Um, I also got a, the bilge pump requires 7.5 um, volt fuse and I got that. And you see right there, I also have the shrink wrap electrical, and basically that just covers and helps in my case, um, you know, for any shorts down the road. I wanna to try to prevent as much as I can, especially since I am in salt water. Everything gets in, it seems like, when it comes to salt water. So there's the bilge pump. I actually bought a bilge pump um, plumbing kit and that was just, just so convenient. It, it had everything I needed. Um, I bought the bilge pump, I bought this kit, and you can see I'm ready to go. I also found a place, if you look just a little bit above the bilge pump, 
to the right, you'll see a little drilled hole. I found a little area. Please be careful. Uh, you don't want to drill through your hole. Um, try to find a spot to put your bilge pump in. Um, I had some self-tapping screws. I actually had this little metal plate made down the road from me at a um, fabricating shop. I told him what I needed, the dimensions, and he found a little piece for me of aluminum and bent it to fit my my dimensions that I needed and as you can see there it is um, I took the self-tapping screws and drilled that in for the rule automatic bilge pump um, that I used and it's not what's nice about this is if the bilge pump ever goes out all I have to do is just click both the sides replace the bilge pump and that everything else stays intact it's so nice when, if that happens so there's a great picture of it uh, sitting at the boat in the boat and again the idea is as water gets to that level automatically it'll turn out and start spewing water out there I am all set and ready to go um, I can't tell you it does add a sense of security knowing that um, I've got 1100 gallons per hour getting ready to be pumped out in case I do take um, some type of wave and whatever body of water I'm in so there's an image of it again ready to go I hope that helps. Remember, if you like what you see, hit subscribe, hit that bell, because we're here to teach you and help you catch more and bigger fish and spend less time not fishing. So remember, you're always just one cast away.